Welcome back to another video where I play a weird PS2 game. Remember Crazy Frog? Yeah, he has his own video game. Two of them, actually. Crazy Frog Racer, released in 2005. It was apparently so good they made another one the following year. At least this racing game kind of makes sense, because in the most popular Crazy Frog music video, they are racing, unlike Eminem's kart racing, which was a bit random. The one I'm going to check out today is Crazy Frog Arcade Racer, which I believe is Crazy Frog Racer 2. Games just sometimes have alternate names depending on the place. There's just not that much information about these games on Wikipedia. Gameplay. Players race as the Crazy Frog, an animated character. Ah, oh, right, thank you. I would have never guessed that after reading the game's name, Crazy Frog Racer. So let's give this game a shot and see what it's all about. Ah, brilliant. So, hold on, let me turn the volume down real quick. I'm gonna have to mute the audio, but the title screen has the Crazy Frog theme playing in the background, which is only right. I mean, what other song are they gonna use for that, you know? And this clarifies what I said earlier, Crazy Frog Arcade Racer, also known as Crazy Frog Racer 2. Well, that's that cleared up. Can I turn the music off in the options? Because I really want to play the sound, but I can't. Okay, I can. I can turn the music volume to zero. So we've got five different modes here. Championships, single race, time trials, chase, and mini games. I think We'll start off with single race because, you know, I just want to get a feel for the controls before going into a whole championship. Time trials is self-explanatory. I'm really interested in the mini games though. But again, we'll start on single race. Oh, we've got a variety of characters here. First of all, we, we have the crazy frog himself, the annoying thing, which for anyone who doesn't have a deep understanding of the crazy frog lore, the annoying thing was his original name. Who else we got though? We got Ellie, the holiday thing, sub drone, flash, jack, drone, Grim, the annoying drone, Bosch drone, Bobbo, and Michael. I will admit, I don't know much about the Crazy Frog lore myself, so I have no idea who these people are. We're gonna go on easy mode for, for the first race. Select your cup, football cup, ice cup, city cup, beach cup. Sun Island, let's go with that. Let's see what this is all about then. Oh, bloody hell. Yeah, he goes fast as hell. He goes so fast I can barely control him because of... I keep hitting into the wall. Okay, going faster was... I'm already going so fast to the point where I can barely control him. I really don't need any more speed. Oh, we got the uh, mushrooms. Or the shells, sorry, from Mario. I don't know what to say, to be quite honest with you. I can't tell if it's bad or good. I think I know what I can do. I can edit some Crash Team Racing or Mario Kart music over this. Who are you? I don't know who it is, but I hit them with a rocket, and we should be coming up on the end of the lap now. It's the third lap. I'm in second place still. Ah, oh, second place. I'll take it. Time, 7 minutes and 20... That was a long race. Lap 1, 2 minutes and 23 seconds. That first lap alone was longer than some Crash Team Racing tracks. Well, I didn't win, but I did get the best lap. As you can see, this is a very colourful and vibrant track. What is there to say about this? It's just sort of, it just sort of exists. Like, yeah, this is a game. This exists, but that's all I really have to say. Oh, do you see that sick jump? One thing I will say is this track is very boring. There's absolutely nothing interesting about it. In fact, it's a bit depressing, actually. The color palette is very dull. I know it's a 2005 game, but there were kart races that came out before this that looked way better. So that track wasn't as long as the previous one. It was only four minutes, but that is still a pretty long track for other racing games like this. So I actually came first this time. Not trying to brag or anything, but I am getting pretty good at Crazy Frog Racer 2. Right, let's check out uh, mini games then. I thought there was going to be a bit more of a selection, but this, this'll do. Froggy Pinball. Let's, let's try this then. Throw out as many robots as possible. All oh, right. Game finish. Robots destroyed 24. That's all I need to see of that. Let's see what Dance Frog is all about. Yeah, I forgot I turned the music off, so I'm just sort of... I'm just sort of doing this to absolutely nothing. Oh, that was good. 
Oh shit. Oh the oh shit. Oh my god, what what the game finish? Hey baby, hard your score ten thousand. I don't think you unlock anything for doing these. I think you just keep doing it to beat your own record. Championship is probably just going to be multiple races, and you get points depending on the position you come in after each race. Let's try out chase mode. I think I'll I think I'll play as the holiday thing. So what am I supposed to do on this mode? I'm guessing I'm being chased by something. Oh mate, these tracks depress me. Look at how. Just bland they look. I feel like during the PS2 days, anything was allowed to become a PS2 game. There were some proper weird titles on that console. Ah, oh, right, I see. I think if they overtake you, you start to lose health. And then if you get back in front of them, it freezes. So that's a... It's a pretty decent, uh, pretty decent mode. What else is there to experience in this game? I'll try out the championship mode just to see what it's about. I think I already know what it's about, but I could be wrong. Yeah, so the championship is just playing a whole cup. And then there's three races in each one. This looks like a fucking Sonic level. This is a relatively short track, thankfully. In fact, I think I've noticed a pattern. The first track in each cup is the shortest. Second is medium, and then the third is the longest one. I think that's what they're going for. Yeah, it's just as I thought it was. You get points after each race. I'll play one more. I can't be asked to finish the cup, I'll be honest with you. This one looks... Well, it looks the exact same, but again, it is in the same cup, I guess. After playing this, though, I have one question. Well, I have many questions, actually, but if sequels are meant to expand upon the originals, then what the hell was Crazy Frog 1? Well, I won that race as well. I might as well do the last race at this point. This is the same track! This doesn't even have a different skybox. It looks exactly the same. Is it more fun than Eminem's kart racing? Hmm, probably. Coming up on the finish line now. Should be just around this corner. Yeah, I won all three races. I'm a crazy frog racer pro. So what do I get for winning the football cup then? Do I get anything? Congratulations, first place. Congratulations, you have unlocked the Ice Cup Championship. Oh, so you just unlock tracks that you can already play in single race. Well, that was Crazy Frog Racer 2. I can sum it up with what I said at some point earlier in the video. Yeah, th this is a thing. It exists. I will say, though, the gameplay is a bit more interesting than Eminem's car racing. But yeah, that is going to be it for this episode of Playing Old Games. Thank you for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Let me know down below if you had any memories of this game or if you played it when you were a kid. Definitely subscribe if you're new here, and I'll see you all in my next video.